Hello, this is Jeff. And and first you start with the face, then you erase some details, and voila, I'm at a circle. Okay, okay. Very inventive. So today we are playing... Man used to take off his wedding ring. There was no subtitle so option. Flick it into a spin. I remember being scared to blink, like, what if he loses it? Would he lose mom? Would he lose me? I know this voice actor. That's our cold open. Just a ring, twirling over black. Will it stand or fall? And then, as Starfather, I speak. You... Once, Starfather stood alone before the circle. Within it, he placed everything. First breath, <clears throat> final gasp, love, loathing, you. You can tell that these I people have been suffering from art from artist block something fierce parted from sky but even he could not foresee the coming of Ava Nadir okay I'm trying to record here and you're making that face again the player can skip this right oh yes the story is only my life's work but by all means skip to the last page shall I leave it blank you're... so you have somewhere to doodle ish you were married, right? You and your wife ever dress up? You know, role play. Oh, dear God. Thought so. And in that little scene, did you all find yourselves in burning need of a narrator? No. The meaning lives and dies in the act. Someone's never been in love. It's just a game. Shut up and let them play. Ah, uh, people, just use this take for now. I'll redo it tomorrow. Uh, we are right. on through the ring and fade up as the hero awakens. Shoop. So is there actually like a... I am I'm with the lady. Like uh no, no like, there's no subtitle options. Like na like uh an opening narration is like a death knell to my interest. I mean there are good ways to do it. Like, I know you hate it, but the way Half Life did it was a good job. And Half Life 2. Yeah, that was because yeah, that was because that was like... Yeah. No, I, I know. I've, I've played this game. I've, I'm I've... a little sad that you've played this game. It wasn't on the list. Well, I'm sorry, but I've played this game. This game definitely has an art style. No, it's, it's, no, it's definitely good. But definitely don't do an opening narration to your game. That's like... I like... should stop doing that. Okay, so... The texture. <laughs> That's funny. So yeah, so I was going to say that all these people who write about... So, who are you? A new playtester? What? Well, let me save you some time. Today, I push the buttons. Ish, we are not changing this part again. 20 years, Maze. 20 years I've wasted writing about the almighty player. But who is the player anyway? They're like Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Genocide. They demand a world full of deep, compelling characters, yet at any time, they reserve the right to turn said people into piles of gently glowing ash. But what possible story could survive these conditions? It's a murder mystery now? Hmm, everyone's dead. Who could do such a thing? Oh yeah, me. Look! Look at our hero. A lonely mute who can't even lower their killing hand. Matricide is just how they say hi. Your story needs mom to live, so I have to cut all weapons out of the game? Negative. Fire me. Never. Sorry, bro. Long story. Okay. No choice. Blorp. Well, so much for having a sword. Anyway, you were saying? Right. Uh... All right, what was next? Oh, God. It's just... I mean, this is just such a terrible attitude. Just make a movie if, like, you can't... If you resent the player. Maze, shall we continue? Now, we don't have any animations yet, but I can... Okay, I can't... I can't talk and also listen to this guy. Can you put on subtitles? No, I tried! There is no subtitle option. Well... This guy is just going to get talked over then. 
it's fine. This game has a demo. If you want to, if you want to like experience this part, you can see it yourself. Any case, like. Backer campaign raised less money than that joke fund demanding to have you cane by the state. That was you trying to get fired. Even now, I, I snuck I, like, by. I snuck by. Never proven. Point is, we can't raise a penny more without a live gameplay demo. Yes, I'm writing the demo script as we. Speak. I mean, honestly, it seems like designers like it seems like demos actually make uh make sales worse. Or at least I think I've heard that somewhere. Wit must be your sword, and virtue <laughs> your shield. Now go, hero, take back. Right. Um. You I mean storytelling with like? Oh. Like storytelling in in these conditions is like. I mean, that's just because you're making, like, a big RPG, right? Like, in RPGs like this... No. I don't know, storytelling is hard. Boss fight. What else do we have? Uh... Sorry, what were you saying? You, you... You're paying, like, the glowy... What, were the glowy lights... That, like, were the glowy lights distracting you? Mm-hmm. The gameplay is distracting me. Mysterious. Well, thank goodness they don't inter interrupt you with a te they don't like uh, interrupt you with a tedious narration. Like even in movies, like an opening narration is like is like terrible. Because it's like the opening narration is like here is the world, here is what's happening. In like the way you're supposed to do this, the way that's like good to do this is that take off your headphones. I can't. You I want to pay attention to the game. Take off the take off the headphones. Because you're like you're trying to pay attention to this guy, and like you've already heard what he had to say. It was like ten years ago. Well, you can well if you want to replay the game, you could replay the game after after we've recorded this. Go go. Say words then. Oh my god. Um. My real name is Like. Putting an opening narration that explains things is answering a question before anyone has had a chance to I ask it. I don't necessarily agree with that. It gives you backstory. Backstory is nothing without investment. That's not necessary. Backstory can give you investment. I am not invested when someone says, oh, a terrible thing happened to me. It's like, what do you fucking do? But if I look at a person, I see them suffering and I wonder why... I, I'm forming an emotional connection to this person. Why did they suffer like this? And then they tell me my backstory. Their backstory. I mean, you could do it that way, but, like, also you could just do world building. I like world building. World building is fun. Yeah. Um, world building. I don't have any way of fighting these guys. What I'm saying is that you need to ask, the, like, the player. If you just ask questions before anybody has had a, had a chance to, end, to like, if you answer a question before anybody has had a chance to ask it, that is really boring. Because other, like, you can still move. like at the very least, a little bit of a mystery you want, right? I can't process There's too many audio streams at once. Then you try to take off the headphones. But I don't know what's going on if I take off the headphones. Fine, whatever. Play your game. Ugh. <sighs> Other ghostly objects. Right, so here are the... We've been doing this for three years, Jeff. Yes, and? And sometimes you like paying attention to the narration, and sometimes you don't, and it's a little difficult to tell which. I'm trying... Like, I'm trying to... It's very hard to have a conversation when, when none of us can pay attention to more than one thing at a time. Well, why are we trying to have a conversation? Where am I going? Because that's the only reason to watch these. Because otherwise, they would just play the game. That's not really true. The champion defeated Nadir, but they had selfless... Okay, anyway, what you were saying, this part's worthless. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's it's a shit story, probably, anyway, right? I mean... It's a generic hero, saves the world, here are some things. Oh, right, we're, we're introducing Coda. I remember Coda. Oh, kickbacker girl. But I have literally grown up 
Also, uh, I don't know. No. I was trying to, um, yes. I was trying to say that, like, I really hate opening narrations because if, like, like there are good ways to do it, but like, it like establishes, imagine if the imagine, it establishes a setting. Just, just imagine if the alien, imagine the alien movie, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Imagine the alien movie. Imagine if it opened, like, a long time ago, the engineer create, the, created the xenomorphs, which are a parasitic life form that attach themselves to people. And different get... movies have different things going for them. It doesn't make sense in the alien movie to establish the existence of aliens already, but what you could do is explain why these people are out in space in the first place and what their goals are. You don't have to, but you could. Like, what's the point of that? What do you mean, what's the point of that? It's so that you don't have to spend time why do you, why does de determining that in the actual gameplay. It gets you to the action faster. Or you can start in the middle of the action, but not know what the hell is going on. Like, I'm, what, I'm trying to f what I'm trying to figure out is why do you even need this information? Because it helps contextualize what's going on. If why you're you running even... from a bunch of orcs, you need to know potentially why. I don't need inform If I'm running from a bunch of orcs, I don't need this information. Well, All like, I know here, is that the orcs if, are going if to we kill took me. Our, if we took our ears off, we would have no idea. Like, I don't even remember what this guy... I don't know what this guy said because I don't know what's going on. And, like, why is this happening? Who knows? Maybe just, just push the button. Just push the button. Nope. What I'm trying to say is that it's a video game. If you want this con like if the player wants this context, like you can just put ways for them to get it. That's not I And it's so much more compelling. Okay, you when were you talking go about movies first of all. Okay, you were yes, saying it's I was bad talking, in Yes, okay. It's okay, yeah. It's bad in movies because because I feel like you want to you want to make a person ask a question before you ask before you answer it. Like I have no because I have no interest in an answer to a question that I haven't I like, asked. Well, I like learning about backstory. Like if you don't like opening narration in video games, most of the time it lets you freaking skip it. You can just kill things and not know why you're killing you them. Have fun. You should just design What is It's a video what are we doing? I don't know. It's doing it's doing the magic circle thing. We're we're interacting with like the game world. Like I like learning about stuff. I like the backstory. I okay. like story. Okay. Chef, listen to me. Welcome back. When you By now you can see that the gods will never Okay, you know what? Just pause the game. Sure. Okay. Uh no. The sky. Can't. Oh my god. We gotta start by breaking you. Anyway, you were saying? Okay. Look. There is definitely there are... ways to integrate learning about things into story, but it is also okay to set up, like, and that is a perfectly valid and good way of storytelling. It is useful to be able to do that, but sometimes you want to establish a setting. That's what. Have you ever heard the term establishing shot? Where, like, you know, it's a big overhead shot that shows what the surroundings look like so that people can pick up what's going on in the world around them and understand the concepts behind it. What are they going to miss if you just throw... If you just throw them into things without any context. How do you... Okay, so let, like, let's say we're having a big climactic battle in the opening scene of our movie, right? Okay. How do they know that this is a battle that's like, you know, just a couple of... A tiny battle between two clan lords or a big battle for the, 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 the power of the... For like the, the, um, the, uh, the fate of the human race? Okay. Okay. So you're, so you're saying... So are you saying that, like, the only way... The it's only not the only way, but it's a quick and dirty way to get the information faster to people. Right. It is a shortcut. And if you, okay. unless you want so movies to be three hours long all the time... Okay, so imagine... As so they sometimes are. So you're starting with so you're starting with like a big climactic battle, right? That's your opening shot. That's what you chose as your opening shot. But as a picked all as random off the top of my head, yes. So for starters, you don't need... To, for starters... Right there, you don't need to know 
whether you don't need to know whether it's a big climactic battle for the whole world or Why for a not? clan lord. Because you gain because you gain nothing. A human cannot a human cannot care like if you tell a human I to care? if you tell a human to care about the whole world or about like a or about like a like a It puts a very different spin on it if it's a big climactic battle over the world versus like it's a couple of petty things and like you could like feel like uh like you don't know which of these characters like, you're supposed to be like there are ways of doing all of these things with showing and not telling, but it is sometimes useful to be able to have the telling shortcut. But that doesn't necessarily make obvi- someone a bad person for using it. It doesn't. You can. You can. You can const- like, yes, you can, but you don't have to. Of you don't have. It's art. You don't have to do anything. Yes, and it's but, not bad art or worse art because it does something one way versus another. Sometimes people. I'm want, not saying it's. It's like you're okay. You are you saying the, you dislike it? That is valid no. and okay. Are you saying that it is worse to do it that way than the other way? Then I have an argument with you. I feel like if you open, if you have to open your story with a long narration, you have you have at some you have like failed. Okay, you know that thing that Half Life did at the beginning of its thing. It didn't even have an opening narration. It's just, it was just it like had an opening narration. There it wasn't was the a narrate- achievement. It was the you know what? Quit this game. Boot up Half Life Two. We're, no, we're, we're, we're so much, we're, we are past this. Boot up Half-Life 2. Pause the record. First of all, I was talking about the original Half-Life, not Half-Life 2. Second of all, okay, sure. Half-Life 2 is the one that actually has narration in it. Wait, Half-Life, Half-Life 1 doesn't even have an opening narration. It has the entire sequence. What was? The sequence on the rail car. I realize there's no narration involved, but it's the same goddamn thing. It's an establishing shot. Okay, but that's. Okay, but that's yeah. I know I am familiar with the cut. Okay, establishing shot. Like I like establishing shots, but because like, sometimes you want to. So imagine what if someone didn't want to round wait around in that Half Life rail cart for five minutes for the things to happen, I mean, and they just wanted the background really fast. You could just give them a tech stump, and then they'd be right in the action right off the bat. Isn't that the thing you love? I mean, you could just you could just have a skip. You could just have a skip button for the. Uh... Or, like or he, even better, what if, what if, what if instead of having to push the cart around to move, to get the, the accident to happen, you just started right after the accident so you could start immediately with the shooting? I mean, admittedly, like, ha- admittedly. that's ha- what Maze wants. That's what you want. You just want to start right in the middle of the action. That's not what I want. I just want, like, I just want, like, a story that's, like, paced in a way that's... <sighs> There are way like yes, there are definitely problems with long, blowhard, long-winded narration that happens. The Half-Life 2, as you point out, has a very snappy one, but it still has an opening narration that helps set the scene. It's not it, an opening narration, it's an establishing shot. It does no, things in like the G-Man literally talks to you. Okay. He says a bunch of cryptic nonsense that only raises more questions than answers. Yeah. That is a good thing. This also does. You can't. I mean, like. No, no, no. He does Look, a bad job of it, but you can no, say okay. like, like in the meta narrative here, like. No, you I'm going, just talking about the regular narrative. Not no, the no, the regular narrative. narrative is garbage. But like in the meta narrative, I know. But like, that's what I'm talking about. In the regular narrative, he's doing a bad job of it, but he's still saying this is the background. Okay. So questions are a good way to get a person like invested in wondering what is happening. Yes. You want a per like you want a person wondering what. Like, what is going on? What is happening? In your example, in the whole, like, clan warlords or whatever, yeah. I'm serious about booting up Half-Life now. Why are we doing this? Sure, I will save before quitting, apparently. Uh, why are we It's playing? fine. Just go even... play the demo for the Magic Circle if you care so much. Do we even dear have viewer. Half-Life 2 installed on here? I don't think I do. And Half-Life 2 is Just pause the record! Okay, fine. Well, I will pause the recording. I have unpaused the recording so we can continue talking. It shouldn't. Well, it's it's only six gigs. It's going to take like two minutes. Okay, that's because we have magic New York internet connection. Yes. So like, <sighs> it's okay. So like, in Blade Runner, in, doesn't Blade Runner have like a? Uh... I don't freaking remember. I like have never seen Blade Runner all the way through. I've fallen asleep halfway through. I'm a bad person to ask about Blade Runner. Okay, well, I'm pretty sure that Blade Runner is like starts with an opening narration, and I feel like the entire thing would have been more compelling if you didn't know about replicants before. Like, 
a person. No, shoots that's a person. I don't agree with that at all. That it, context, like I don't remember well enough, but knowing that there is a possibility of replicants and all of that contextualizes what's going on. It's, you can, it, Jeff, like, it actually raises okay. more questions. I hear. Are about, they a replicant? Are they not a replicant? Was no. the person who was shot a replicant? Again, I don't remember all of the things that happened in Blade Runner. But you can actually, by giving no. people information, raise but, more questions than would normally have been there. Or. T- Like if you, if you don't like, if you don't even introduce the, like, you know, the possibility of replicants, yeah, then like you can have, then no one knows what's going, then no one knows why this shooting happened. Yeah, and that's not a bad thing. It's not a bad thing, but also it's not necessarily the best thing. Making people try to... Det- it raises more questions about the murder if you know that replicants are a possibility. Did this... Is this a, per- a robot that, like... You can um, just find You can just find out about replicants later and right, then retroactively that, think about... But that's about, not how humans work. They're not thinking about, oh, that scene in the past that we saw at the very beginning that has no content... No I think about the- that. That's fridge logic. Yes, you think about that Besides, afterwards. But the maker of the thing downloaded, by the way, the maker of the thing didn't want it to work that way. The maker of the thing wanted you to have those questions in mind when you were watching that scene. Then just introduce then, in, then just introduce the replicants in a more organic manner. I don't know. It's like writing is hard. <sighs> I'm slightly concerned that we are not going to be able to capture this. I don't it's know. Da- dur- it's like, can I alt tab into the game maybe? I don't know. No? Is everything broken forever? Well, shit. Oh, Whatever. All right, so we are playing Half Life Two for some reason. I don't know. You I'm got... not hundred percent sure why. I don't know. You got. You got. You're, you're trying to argue. You're trying to argue. I don't know. It's like, like, why do you even <sighs> look? Look, the linearity in games is like. Are like there subtitles in this game or no? Aren't yeah. there? Oh, good. Subtitles, dialogue only. Subtitle. Let's do close caption. No, th- no. But I want to know what all of the sounds are. Called. I don't. I'm. I yeah, don't need is, to know when. The, this I, is. This is not picking this up. I think this is because it's like um, a pretty old version of. Um, <sighs> here, I will just minimize everything. It's fine, and we can just capture the thing. It will be okay. Oh, I'm gonna have to blur out your no, screen again. No, you won't. The only reason why you had to blur it out before is because my tab bar was showing up. I don't care if people see my random icons. If I can't see the tab bar, you know, I went to the uh, I went to the pumpkin blaze. What the hell is the pumpkin the, blaze? So, do you like jack o' lanterns? Yes. Okay. Well, I mean, like they're fine. I don't like think they're the best thing in the world. Okay. Well, I got my jack o' lantern fixed for like. Wee. Okay, now for you like all can the see next, everything. For the rest of my, uh, you. Well, all right. Hopefully. <sighs> all right. So, we, so we're starting a new game of Half Life, apparently. Yeah, we're we're starting a new game. We're I don't starting... know why we're doing this. Because. Because you're trying to tell me that oh no interactivity is good just ripping the thing out of I the didn't player's say hands. That. You should just be you should just be happy about this. So- and shine, Mr. Freeman. Rise and shine. Wake up and smell. That I wish to imply you have been sleeping on the job. No one is more deserving of a rest and all the effort in the world. Man, this really is... All the background images are actually familiar now that I've, like, seen people play Half-Life 1 before. Yeah, that really... That just looks like Half-Life 1 stuff. Yeah, it is. I don't know, I would have to see one of the models in action to... man in the wrong place can make all the difference in the world. Okay, G-Man. Wake up, Mr. F- Wake up, Mr. It's like 30 seconds and he tells you nothing. But it what, lets you ra- raises questions, yeah. Yeah, no. Yeah, it raises questions. That's why I think... Like, here... It doesn't... And, see? See, you, you like, walk up to this guy who tells you, oh... It's you, get on. Yeah, it's really, really good, and it is nice and interactive, and I appreciate it. But it doesn't, like, it is still, like, in a sense, not letting you into any action beforehand. It's still only, like, forcing you to just wander around and not do anything. 
and it's still yes, it's raising questions. Yeah. But you could do the same thing with narration, okay. and it would work okay. Okay, it's not. I'm not disagreeing that in this case it's better to do it that way. But there are cases. Welcome. I think. See, this is why I wanted to turn on all the subtitles. <sighs> Who can? It's. All right, fine. All right. Like, I think this game does a very good job of a step. I guess, admittedly, like, uh, Half Life really did. Really, um. I guess Half Life was so. Res Half Life and Half Life 2 were so revolutionary because, you know, they kind of. Like, Half Life. Two basically doesn't have cutscenes. It has like a couple. It has some cutscenes. You can wander around in, during them, but they are definitely cutscenes. The bit where the guy will not shut up when he's attaching the the gun to your boat is definitely a cutscene. I mean, yes, like it blurs the line between like cutscene and like interactive. Like the, it's basically all just interactive set pieces. Yes, I agree that this is a very good way. This is of making. Like, it's, like, it is very well, like, Half-Life 2 is, like, is very well constructed with its all linearity and stuff, but, you know, you don't really have any choices. No, you don't have any choices at all. <sighs> hey, Barney. You can, okay, okay. You can def, alright, look, you can definitely have an opening narration to your game or movie, but I think in general you should really, like, if you're going to do it's that, you should really ask yourself if, like, if the story, if, like, the story or the investment of the player like benefits it's still from this. It's... What? It still hiccups when it uh, lo loads and unloads. I mean, yeah. <sighs> I don't know. It's just I've like you see speed run. <laughs> Me, Gordon. Nobody, nobody's no, gonna know who the fuck Barty is. I didn't. Like. Also, I guess in retrospect, playing Half Life Two, it's a little weird. Oh, you're not going to do the thing that speedrunners do, where they make like a big stack of like bullshit on the chair. No, I could if you want me to. You could try. I'm not as good at this as speedrunners, and I forgot that was a thing. Yeah, that's me. I mean, they have. See, this is a cutscene we are currently in. Yeah, this is basically a cutscene. Like, see, this is just like this is this is opening narration. <sighs> is it not? I mean, I would say that this is much more well executed than like yes! opening narration. It is, but, but you like, can't just point at this and say, "Oh, this is opening narration." Opening narration is a very specific thing. Oh my god. Okay, fine. Black screen, text, like oh, some with text here. Uh, not with images in the background. You're not even going to allow allow them to have images. Fine. Like, what about what about Star Wars? I mean, you hate and despise Star Wars, don't you? I mean, do you like Star Wars? I like Star Wars. How much of no? I like. You're, I certainly like the first. Uh, the, the nobody original. likes Star Wars. That is a lie. If you say that you like Star Wars, that you are you are wrong. I like when, Star when, Wars. When people say they like Star Wars, they mean I like Star Wars asterisk. So what? where's the asterisk? What do you mean? There is no asterisk. What are you talking about? The prequels. The sequels. I like. I like episode the original, eight. I like the original. You mean nine? I like the original trilogy. I like. Um. I like the mm -hmm. prequels. Honestly, aren't that bad once you get used to them. I'm a really big fan of the Clone Wars. Um. TV okay. Show. Okay. And cool. And also like all of the stuff around that. I also like Rebels. Cool. 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 Um. I can like Star Wars without liking no, some the, parts of it. Yes, that's the asterisk. What do because you mean? That's every, not an asterisk. That is a an huge asterisk. An asterisk is like like you you saying you like X I does like, not mean you like every aspect of X. I'm amused that I didn't even hear the line about putting it in the trash can. I just put it in the trash can because I played this game enough you don't to throw remember it, that. You have no soul. You just don't. You don't throw it at the at the guy. You just don't want any caught to cause any trouble, officer. Wait, you can throw it at the guy. Yes! And then he hits you with his stun baton! Oh, Have you I've... never tried that? No. Have you never tried ignoring him? No. Oh, yes. He zaps you with a stun baton. Yeah, and you can also throw it at him and he hits you with the stun baton. Okay, you, you ignored him. Alright, that's something. You've exercised your free will. 
It's like it's been you are so eager to surrender your free will to these so, interactive have you experiences. Played Dishonored recently, by the way. Yeah. And like, there's a a very large overlap in this game, in this game's aesthetic and and uh, Dishonored's um, aesthetics. Weird to say, but true. Like the the way that they are blocking off passages with the metal looks very similar. Um, like, okay, where am I going? I'm going further up this ladder. No, I'm uh, up as high as jump, I can go. Jump down. Oh, I see. I'm going here. Okay. And there's a little hole for me to scoop and onto. And it's like, there are crates. The game taught you that crates are okay to fall on. Well, Be yes, it did teach me that. <laughs> because you smashed into a crate and it broke your fall. Then the whole block. They have no reason to come to our place. Don't worry. Don't this game is... I mean, unless you know what to look for, this game is pretty subtle with its, uh, with its direction. Okay. Um, oh, we're missing a thing. I was gonna play tic-tac-toe with you, but I guess, guess I can't. No, you can't. I mean, we can just pretend that the block is there. Man, no one uses this playground at all anymore, huh? It's almost like there are no kids. I mean, I know that there are no it's kids. It's almost like it's but, trying to... Uh, look, to... if there were no kids, would you not use the playground? I would absolutely use the playground. There you go. But the but civil protection is right there. They're going to hit me with their stun batons. Okay. Well, and then they're going to take me to re-education, and then they're going to like rip out all of my excuse organs. Me, excuse me. I don't think the game will let me, but I'm going to try anyway. I mean, speedrunners can probably get on there. Okay, but I'm not a speedrunner. I wanted to go down the slide. Okay, well you can get on the wheel. Go get on the wheel. Mm-hmm. Oh, it works. Oh, I fell off. <laughs> yeah. Uh. Yeah, Valve made a made a physics engine. Sorry, I made you quit out of the magic circle because I was pissed and wanted to make some sort of a point. I'm not entirely sure you made it, but that's fair. I'm like the way that half like okay, like I don't think you can really call this an opening narration. No, but like there's a sense in which it's doing the same thing, and I use it as an example because I know it's yeah, something like you're it's, okay with. It's like it's doing. I feel like it's doing a doing this doing the same thing in a much more organic way. Right? See, like I am definitely it's showing skip. it's showing like the plight of the people Here, by you, showing you, that you want me to you want me to like, mess with him? Yeah, see? He there. hits you. There. See? Like this like this is a good way to show you the plight of the people instead of saying like imagine if this game opened with like with an opening narration that said but like, oh, the Combine have invaded us. But here I am just sort of ignoring it instead of actually doing what I normally because do you, and you playing already, this game. You've already... This. Yeah, but even... You've already played... Like, you already have the necessary context. That's the thing with, like, with like games. Once you've played it... Once you've what played it... What are you wearing right now? I think you're wearing one of their jumpsuits because nobody comments upon it. Like... What was I gonna say? I don't know. Can't you sprint? Nope. Keep moving. The roof. Right. Oh, uh, what was I saying? I don't um, remember. Keep talking. I'm. 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 I am. This is a game I can pay much less attention to. Yeah. I mean, you've already like you've already played this game. You already you've have got the subtitles for the people who want the subtitles. I you will, already I, have the necessary context. I will attempt to play Magic Circle later. And ow, 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 ow. We just got. Look, no, the magic. I like. I definitely want. I've definitely like had the magic. The magic circle on, like, my, you know. On your short list? Yeah. It's a very good game. No, yeah, no, I definitely want to play it. definitely makes commentary about, like, uh, different ways you can interact with games, but instead of, like, listening to that commentary and all of that, you instead, we instead got into an argument about... Um, about opening narrations and, like, interactivity and shit. It's just... <laughs> it's which just, is a thing that the game is trying it's just, to make you, commentary you've told, on. You've told... I don't know, it's like... You've told me point blank that you that you think that you, that people shouldn't be able to skip cutscenes, and I find this and I find I, this. I have come back on that okay. to some degree. They when you replay like, a game, you already have like if a cutscene provides hey, you with like context, like you already have this context. Like if a cutscene provides you with story or context, you already have that. I and if like let me rephrase, I don't think people should should skip cutscenes the first time they play. Sure. Even though you freaking do that, there I've, I've seen, like I've, I've seen you. I've, I've skin. I've 
If I can't tolerate the cutscenes, then why am I going to sit through them? Because they give you useful useful information. They're so Spe useful. Like how to like how well, do you I've seen you been like, what do I do now? And have no idea what to do, and had to have us tell you because we read the text and you didn't. Yes, and this and this made my experience much better. I still uh, didn't make our experiences better. Well fuck you! <laughs> I like <sighs> In. Through here. I feel feel like I should be listening to the Get Smart theme. No, wait, that's <laughs> <laughs> that was a that was a Freeman's mind joke. I just remembered. That was a Freeman's mind joke. I just know what the get. I I just know about Get Smart. Yeah, that's why I. That's why it popped into my mind at that moment because it happens in Freeman's mind. Ugh. <sighs> Has he done another one of those recently? No, he hasn't. On the verge of a He's doing another game dungeon. I think there's going to be another game dungeon. I mean, he I don't know. He's He's good at game dungeons. He's been getting like uh, he's been getting like another editor or whatever. Editors are good. Yeah. Oh, and by the way, just nice to finally meet you. Lambda locator one of forty-five. I never. I still have get to get that goddamn achievement. Yeah, I hear you. I like that you could interact with things. I don't know. I know. I, I know that like uh, AAA games like to lock you into like long, prolonged walking sequences, and I always hate those. The long walking sequences. I I really really hate it when I when I have my speed reduced in a game because the game thinks, oh, you need yes, to experience. Yes, I've, I've noticed that. Okay, but I but I want you to understand why. Because did he just walk through me? Because. There are times when I'm in a when I'm in a situation like that and I will willingly and I will willingly move slower so I can engage with the game in the way that like, you know, it's sort of like intended. It's taking away your choice from you. I get it. Yes. And you stirred up the hive. When I am given the choice. Why? Why did I stir up the hive? Like when I'm not given a choice, I feel like I'm being treated like a child. Like I can't be trusted with the story. Well, sometimes you can't. But yes, fine. But like you can't but as 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 he pointed out, you shouldn't be able to just kill every NPC. What kind of story could survive that? I mean I mean like, I can't kill these people right now. I mean, yeah. Like, in Dishonored, they work slightly differently. You can kill anyone, but if you, you kill anyone important to the story, you immediately get a game over. I, I would say that's probably like a better way to do it. I guess it's like I don't know. A lot of times you're playing as you're not playing Deus, as like. So Deus Ex Human Revolution. Deus, sorry, the original Deus Ex had a way of dealing with that where. Um, they would like just throw you in jail, right? No. Okay, I think that maybe. There's Lamar. Hi, Lamar. I guess we could. I guess we could like. Okay, um, if you are playing a game, you probably shouldn't skip the cutscenes the first time around. If you are making a game, you should think about whether, like, whether it is, whether it is worth it to, uh, remove the interactivity from, like, the, pl to remove, like, choice from the, from the player's hand if you do it. Because it is very easy to just, like, have the person like resent the story if it's well, just like ripping. imagine like like this is like this is unskippable. I mean, it's also it's also it's well, very fun and I enjoy it. It's for, it's also like yeah, a lot of this is like unskippable. And on the first time and on the first few times around, it's very good. But it's one of but it be, but because of that, it becomes one of those games that I am ah. not going that I'm not going to replay a lot. There are some games that I just replay over and over because it's, because they are just very easy to pick up. That is not like a dark, like Dark Souls just throws you into the game like almost immediately, and there's very few cutscenes. So I find so I find it very easy to just like get back into the game. Oh, it doesn't load him ipsum you. You can actually read that first line, but not any of the rest. I mean, it's You gotta be careful with Lodo Mipsum in a game because people are going to like find them. No, I mean like like that wasn't Laura Mipsum. That was actually like No no no, yeah, that was like actual text. Like after that it becomes nonsense, but the Mark V like that's yeah. actually like the text yeah, they didn't... just extremely pixelated. 
Yeah, if that was Half-Life Alex, like the entire thing would be legible. That's because you can interact in Half-Life Alex in ways that are Yeah. Just... I mean, that's like how VR works. All oh, right. right. Now we have to like plug some... Why don't you position yourself near the panel over there and wait for my work? Like, yeah, you can skip any of this thing, and, like, if you play this game a lot, like, this sequence is going to become more boring. Right? Yes, yes it is. Yeah. That's... And, like, this is, this is all, like, yes, it lets you do things during it, but, like, it's unskippable, and it's setting up, I didn't intend coming, uh, okay. I was thinking specifically of the rail car sequence, which is also unskippable, but still establishing shot, and, like, I think that's a really good thing. This yeah. here is also a really good thing. Yeah. But, like... I see where you're coming from, whether okay. it being unskippable, because I am just sitting here spinning in circles, and I'm sure our audience is benefiting from this if they've never played Half-Life 2 before, which I know at least some of them I guess hasn't. it's just that, like, okay, I guess it's my logic behind, like, criticizing, like, um, you know, opening narrations is that they're very easy to put in, and it's very easy to, um, and it's very easy to, for a person, for a writer to think that the person needs all of this information when they might not and it might be more compelling if they didn't have this information and was just thrust blindly into it like like I play a lot of games that don't have opening narrations and I can only think that a lot of them would like just be worse if they did have an opening narration Right? That's fair. Like and there are, but there are. It's also, hard. It's but hard. You can't just say, carte blanche, that it's worse. Like you'll notice, yeah. it's been like, it's, like, like fifteen I, to twenty minutes, and I sped run through this sequence, and I'm still yet to hit anything with the crowbar. Yeah. This is, this is admittedly more compelling than just having like a than just having like thirty seconds of a person telling you the world is fucked. It's been skull fucked by the combine. But yes. also, like there's yes, because there are, it, like it, because it does it more organically. I will admit that there are ups and like, downs to this. Yes, I think. Um, I mean, opening text then throw you into the action, or throw you into the action, and then put like and, and th put you like, could and also then, do narration over the opening action. I mean, you could also. In okay. fact, you could even have a user playing the game and have a opening narration yeah. over the top. Yeah, that could also work. Okay, I'm like. I'm trying to get us out of, like, argument mode, because... <sighs> That's fair. I, I, I admit like, that I, when I get into argument mode, it is very difficult to get me out of it. I mean, yeah, I'm also... Oh, hi, Lamar. Bye, Lamar. I'm... Yes, okay. Opening narrations can be useful. If you just want to get pers a person into the action, and it's essential for them to know certain things, then yeah, just having, like, an opening text box or something could be good. Or you could just have like, or you could just have like a story button in the menu. Some like some old games did that, or or hell, they even had like a bunch of like story. Sorry, in the I'm manual. missing paying attention to this right now. What, oh, st story in the manual is good. I like story. There uh, is a, it. It does have one. It does have one flaw. People don't have the manual anymore. Ah, uh, that's fair. Homeworld Cataclysm. For, oh god, that's terrifying. Um, Homeworld Cataclysm. It's this is a roller coaster, Jeff. Behind you. Yep, yeah, yeah, Homeworld Cataclysm. Oh well, that's not good. <sighs> I did. I definitely recommend that people play the Magic Circle. By the way, go download that demo and play it. We could play more of it. Nah, maybe later, All some right. other day. I mean, I don't know. I like it. No box. Here. I like that I made you change games now. It's. <laughs> Congratulations. I, I, I hope you're happy. I hope you're happy now. Oh, well, happy. I mean, this... Oh, no. I did the Stanley Parable. Like, the Stanley Parable in the... Uh, like, the original mod of the Stanley Parable, like, did this. You, like, uh... If you disobey the narrator at every option, it puts you through, like, the first map of Half-Life without any, um... Half-Life 2 without any NPCs. <laughs> Uh, God, what were we talking about? Mm -hmm. Narrations. Alright, I'm about to be able to play the game! Homeworld Cataclysm. Yes. It has been 44 uh, minutes, so which means it's been 25 minutes. Um, I come with you, but I gotta look after Dr. Kleiner. Oh, and before. Like, yes, I. S yeah, now that I'm, like, going through this, like, I understand that, like, yeah. Oh, hell yes. 
I mean, in a way that you're... Like, it's a walking sim until now, but it's not like a bad walking sim. No, it's not. It's a very good one, but it is still purely setting things up. Yes, but like, I think... So, for instance, like, let's go back to Star Wars. In the very original, fuck off. I said, fuck yeah, off. Yeah, in the first one, like, a lightsaber doesn't appear until, like... But, like, in. no, I'm talking about the opening, the opening text. It sets in a, st it explains what e it, what's going on with the I ships. I can't even remember. Really? The, yes, I How many times have you seen Star Wars? Clearly fewer than me. I haven't read, I haven't watched it that many times. Okay, so in the original Star Wars, um, it explains the whole thing about stealing the, oh shit, stealing the Death Star plans and stuff, uh, and then opens up on, um... Leia's, sh Leia's ship being shot at by um, so a, I'm thinking about a Star that. Destroyer. And I don't think... And, like, I think that the scene is, like, in, is like well... Like, every... Like, the movie is well-constructed enough that you don't actually need that context. Because <laughs> I sure as shit don't. I don't know. It's like... You know that they're... Like... Like you don't need a text you don't need the text to explain you who Darth Vader is. Because Darth Vader explains who Darth Vader is through like his design and his menace and the fact that he like telekinetically strangles someone in the first in the first like few minutes of the game. Ow. It, Should not the be game, killing the these movie. Guys? Yes. Yeah, and now you have a gun. I'm okay with that. You know, it's actually a good design that you can't pick up any of their stun batons. Probably. Because you, I'm trying. Like the mail like needed more health first. Oh, I've oh, seen oh. mods I've seen mods that like add it in and it just adds it just Go on, say, say like more. Uh, it just adds more options to the menu that you have to scroll th through to get like whatever it is that you want. I mean like you could replace You could replace you could, the crowbar with the with the stun button or and you not could, really lose anything except yeah, you, the nostalgia. You could also replace like so each of these have two options, if you remember. You could replace... Pressing one twice gives you the gravity gun, right? Uh, you could just always set gravity gun to G, which is what it is in the game. Nor Did I just... That's interesting. Anyway. Yeah, but, uh, most pe but I think that most people would like the option to, like, scroll through it like it's a weapon. I, I think... I think that the way that the weapons are set up here is, like, good. You Like, with the way that it's set up here, you really don't want to add a ton of weapons. Like... There are way the fuck more weapons in Half-Life. I uh, made a mistake. You fucked up. I survived. <laughs> I made a mistake, though. Uh-huh. So are you gonna shoot the barrels, or what? I'm trying. I mostly did not succeed. Uh, but I partly succeeded. Anyway, yeah. I don't... <laughs> I don't remember the opening ner the opening text crawl for Star Wars at all, and I think, given the, how the way is how the you know I can't really see. Maybe instead of shooting at them, I just run. Yeah, that's fine. You, on the other hand, you need to die. Fuck off. Fine. Don't you want the Lambda Locator achievement? I mean, not this game, not this playthrough. I'll... All right. Like, at some point, I need to play through Half-Life for the first time, and then I can play through all the other games again. But I'm not there yet. Like, you can... Like, it's not essential for the... For the moviegoer to shot know... At. Where am I being shot at from? Oh, there. Hi. It's not essential for the moviegoer to, like, understand that, like, oh, these are the Death Star plans, and the Death Star is, like, uh... Is, like, a, a, a planet-killing weapon. Sorry, I'm actually trying to pay attention now. Need serious time. Do these do anything? No, just go through the thing. Oh, there's a door there. Hi. Yes. Okay, can Say I get... hello to the door. Yes. Goodbye, door. There was health down there, and I didn't even see it, but I picked it up anyway. Alright. I would like some better weapons, please, and or... Oh, hello. You don't get a better weapon for, like... Ah. Yeah, so the way so the way Half-Life does does things is that it makes you want a better weapon and then for and then makes and then like gives it to you. Hence how you go through so much of Ravenholm without a shotgun. I mean, you have the gravity gun. What why would you want anything more than the gravity gun? I mean, you know, throwing physics objects at things are is great and all. <laughs> 
I got that. That was close. Oh. oh hello. Oh, Goodbye. um. The, uh, that combine, the one that th that throws down the barrel, will not throw it unless you look at him. Oh, good. So good, if good, you... Good, good game design. Yes, but also you can cheese it by, like... By, by backing like, up, yeah. Yeah, by backing get... up into him. They try not to throw things at you unless they're in, like, your line of sight. Which, you know, is what it is. Am I supposed to be here? Yes, you're supposed to be here. This is the way to go. I think I was... Oh, hello. Um... Oh, God. Oh! Wish there was an aim down sights button. I... Okay, to be fair, your gun is, like... Like, accurate? It doesn't... Yeah, I see, don't like it. I don't like it when it becomes like more accurate when you're aiming down the. Are site. you sure I'm supposed to be here? I think so. Like this is the way. This is the only way you can. Oh, did the field go down? It did. I think perhaps I went a direction I wasn't supposed to go. Wait, how did you? How did you do this? I remember when I asked, "Am I supposed to be going this way?" and you said yes. I, I didn't like it. Had like the answer has to be. Oh wait, maybe there's like a thing you can shoot. No. No, on the other side. Okay, go on. No, it's Half-Life 2. It's like it's been streamlined to a mirror sheen. And yet, I found shoot, a- Shoot the dudes, shoot the dudes. That has to solve the problem. What the fuck? What the fuck? It's Half-Life 2! They don't- I you, broke you, the game. You weren't even trying to break the game. They focus these. They focus test these games to a fault. What is happening with your auto save? I couldn't tell you. So just to be clear about what I did, let me see if I can find it. Um, You're supposed to go behind those crates. So these crates, yes, but. Um, Wait, hold on. There was a different set of crates. Hold on, let me see if I can find it. Those are the crates. Those are the ones that are stacked vertically. How did you do this? You know, that's actually a really good question. I'm confused now. There was a set of crates that had um, a health pack on top of them, and I grabbed the health pack, but I yeah. also went past, and something went wrong? I, I don't. I don't. I, I, let me I don't. see if I can replicate it. Hold on. You, I, I can't believe you... No, I'm going backwards right now. Yeah, um, you are going backwards. What did I do? I did... You went this way. Okay, so we go up. You went this way. You went up, You went over these crates. Okay. Those are the crates that you went over that you had to squeeze past. Okay, and then... Then you just went that way? Was there... And you just fell down here? No, no. I have no idea what happened. Somehow the I... The train was here. You fell down here and the train was here. But the train didn't leave. Maybe that's what happened? That's weird, though. Okay, well, you broke Half-Life 2. I hope you're happy with yourself. I am! I am delighted! I mean, many people have, like, broken this game. You know, speedrunners do that- do a thing where they, um... I'm still delighted. They bunny hop in a way that makes them give- get infinite speed. Nah, you won't be able to do it. Yep, nope. Oh well. It's like... There's like a speed marker. They have, they have like a speed thing, you know, to keep track of their speed and... Like... It just jumps up by huge amounts. Like, multiplicatively. Sure. I have no idea how it works. You just like abuse like some certain slopes in the terrain to to like zoom at like hyperspeed. I will tell you one thing: the ability oh God, to. Why are the ladders always so bad? The ability to like skip cutscenes is great for. Um... Can you kill well, the Vortigaunt? I don't. Good thing you found us. No. Huh. I guess like. Also, that was that was the G-man on that screen. Wait, he was? Yes. Oh. <laughs> I'm trying to... <laughs> I pressed 
the left key like it's a YouTube video. It doesn't even... <sighs> Fuck, I just... My instinct was to rewind. That did nothing. Oh, God. That did nothing. It's a placebo. I just... Like, hey, Vortigon friend, use your magic. And the Vortigon is just like, uh... And then glows at you so that... He glows at you because he doesn't want to have an argument with the guy. Doesn't want to explain things. And he can't smash the rock. You have to hit the support. Alright. <sighs> so yeah, be careful about what you do. See, that's good design. See? Fucking things. Like, like, it's not like the game, it's not like the game necessarily needs it, but it is good. Like, yeah, okay. It is, I don't, I definitely don't think that any, that any, like, one thing can be, like, good or bad design. It, it's all about context, right? Like, sometimes thing, sometimes things benefit from things that would generally be considered, like, quote-unquote, bad design. But I think, but I do think that the, that opening narrations are, like, uninteresting unless you do, unless, like, unless you really know what you're doing. Anyway, you were saying? This is a retro game. It is. It's a great retro game. I, I hate that this is a retro game. I remember when this was, like, amazing new shit, but now it isn't. It's still amazing. I mean, it's a well put together, like, it's a well put together roller coaster. Like, Hi there. Bye there. So you were saying about not getting a better gun? I mean, you don't, I mean, you don't have this gun. You just get a taste of what it's like to have better guns. But it's a, but it's a dream. It's a fantasy. Come at me, bros. <sighs> you died of fire. So yeah, we've, uh, I guess we've like exhausted this argument. Yeah. Can I not hit you guys? This thing does not have very good aim. Oh, hi. Die. I mean, it goes where the it goes where the reticule goes. Oh my god! Fuck off! Um, ugh, have you done anything interesting? Ah, uh, what kind of interesting? Anything, anything interesting? I guess that you have to ask means the answer is no. Uh, ah, uh, well. Well. That See, now you don't have a better gun anymore. That's all that, that's all part of uh that's all part of Valve like hey, here's a taste of something better, but you just have a pistol for now. Mhm. Mm the pistol is very accurate. I do think that I do think that it's good advice to make someone want a thing before you give it to them. That gen you don't always have to do this, right? But If you make a person want backstory and then give it to them, as opposed to just, like, giving it to them before they have a chance to want it. Like, that's I don't think that's how you, like, get people invested. What are you looking for? The lady who's talking to me. She is, she is not going to survive. She's just in that, like, that is not I a I think she knows that. She's just accepting death. Yes. She was doing as much as she can before her inevitable death. I mean, she could move oh, forward. Oh, fucking hell you got. Oi. The barnacles prime you to look up. Do they, though? I mean, you, I guess you look out for their things. Their tongues. Oh, god damn it. Hey, I wasn't even looking when you throw yeah, that. So pro, yeah, so pro tip, uh, don't go underwater when explosives are, ha are happening. Like, Not it's okay in a video game. Yeah, but in, in, real, in real life, life you'll die horribly. Be, it's because water is incompressible. Yes. Like, you, air can compress, and so... Like, the pressure wave still decreases with distance, but yeah, water makes it decrease a lot less than what it would if it were water. Yeah. So I guess... 
Oh god. It feels ha- good to be able to do murder. In Half-Life Alex, you you have a pistol with iron sights and you can just use the iron sights if you close an eye, which I think is really cool. Mhm. Oh, I have a better idea. Bye guys. I guess once you know all the tricks and once you know everything that's going to happen, like a lot of the impact is maybe like lost a little. I'm having a lot of look. Earlier today, I wanted to do something where I just do a lot of murder, um, and now I am doing a lot of murder, and I'm having the greatest time. You wanted to do a lot of murder because I pissed you off with my. No, arguments. earlier, earlier, earlier today. Before I, that. Okay. I guess if you just want murder, like boomer shooters are pretty good for that. You enjoy that, but I don't. Okay. Damn it. I thought I could get around. Oh, I can get around them. Hi, guys. Okay. Now now this part is a lot of fun. Everyone knows it. <laughs> Welcome to our oddly satisfying. No, not that one. I knew one of them was still alive. So always, like one of them is always still alive. That is a lot of health, guys. I don't think I needed that. Now you know how big the explosion for those for those canisters is. Large. Could you guys stop it? We don't have. We can't afford grenades. Damn it! Didn't uh, explode in time. Oh my god, you guys! Like it Why are they all dead? Are they shooting at each other? I hope not. They're not supposed to do that. <laughs> uh, can how do crouch, I... Can you crouch jump over that? I don't know. Give me a minute. Wait, does this game need you to crouch jump on things? Don't think so. Because in the tutorial for Half-Life, it teaches you how to crouch jump. I'm aware of that. I've played the tutorial for Half-Life. Okay, so that doesn't seem like what I'm supposed to do. So I'm not actually sure... You can, you can I... crouch jump in Postal too. I've used that to get on to get in certain places. Yeah, crouch jumping doesn't seem to help here. What am I supposed to do, you guys? Is there a hole in the fence? No. Oh, there's a ladder. Ah, there we go. <sighs> so we can stop, by the way, whenever we are. Oh my fucking well. Okay. Yeah. All right. They will not stop with the fucking barrels. All right. All right. But I think that's been an hour. Yeah. Anyway, this has been Half Life Two. Yeah. Um, look, I think it makes sense why you're annoyed about opening narration, and I would agree that sometimes, especially in the case that they were attempting to make in the Magic Circle, it is a bit much. And also sometimes gives you background you don't need. But sometimes, like, it is useful to be able to tell people things so you can drop them into the action faster. Like, what this per- Uh, Sure. But sometimes you really can just throw them into- like, sometimes you can just, like, not have that opening narration and then throw them into the action and then, like, sprinkle context later if they want it. Like, sometimes you really don't need to know what's going on. That's like, true. Sometimes like, you, you don't, don't need to know the... but sometimes you do. Or sometimes the writers want you to. Again, with the replicant thing, telling you about replicants raises the questions that they want you to raise about the murder. Yeah, but you could... You could accomplish that in a different way? How? Tell me how. You You just you just have them you just have the thing happen. You just have like a Yes, retro a yes, after but they want the people to have the feeling when they are watching the scene. I mean they're already they're you you're already asking the question of like what you can have like you can have like dialogue that hint that these people are are artificial. You can you can like there are ways to make exposition organic. And a block of, and I feel like a block of text is like the nuclear option to. I would agree, it's the nuclear option. I would agree, it is often the least I have, good. Like but I, I have watched, I have watched a lot of like the long kind of anime, yeah. like Dragon Ball Z and Naruto and Bleach, and their exposition is always terrible. And, and yet, the at some are point, times as long as they need to be. And, one, the, and at shows. some point, I realized, like I've seen like things that have like good exposition, and I realized. Exposition doesn't have to be boring. It doesn't. A block of text... Like, I'm not saying that it can't work, but you have to think very hard about whether you're using it or not. 
I would agree that it is something that you probably want to... Um... Stop. Don't touch that. Oh, sorry. I thought it's... it was a pe- piece of gloop and not a... No, it is like an essential... There is, a, there is a little some... piece of wire sticking out of my head. You need some electrical headphone. tape. I guess. It's fine. It's just an audio cable. <laughs> You have I mean, to think that's it won't hurt you, but it will protect it from further damage. Yeah. You have to think very hard about whether or not you are doing uh, stop that. <laughs> yeah. You have to think very hard if about whether it's a complete metric space and not empty. We know it's the case that under the action of a contraction, some point will remain in its place. If I was putting it, if I was putting like block of text on a tier list i would put it close uh, on an exposition tier list i would put it close to the bottom i won't disagree with that like we've taking this taking the exposition of the block of text and weaving it organically into the narrative okay here's a different example you know space chem right yes have you played space chem i know that its story is sort of like sprinkled in blocks of text yes do you think the game would be better if it were otherwise I mean, does the game really benefit from its story? Like, you're mostly it there for the puzzles. It gives you context. Nah, I mean, okay. It gives you a reason for what's going on, and when there's weird monsters that you fight, spoilers, um, okay. dur- during the boss fights, it explains where those weird monsters came from that you're fighting during the boss battles. Yes, by the way, Space Chem, the puzzle game, has boss fights. Do you even think that Space Chem should have boss battles? Yes. Really? Have you played through Space Chem? I've seen the review. I've seen like play Space for. Chem. It's great. I'm so bad at puzzle games, Jeff. It's okay. These are software engineering games. Like I know how I know how the Zactronics games work. I played a little bit of Molex Sintes. Yeah, uh, that one's super easy. And also, I, I also, didn't really like it. I also tried to play TIS TIS 100. The assembly code the game. I, I would not suggest starting with that one. Opus Magnum is a good one to start with. Or so Space Chem or Infinite Factory. The advantage of the Zactronics games over other puzzle <laughs> games is that in a puzzle game, normally you're not so much solving a puzzle as you are trying to divine the intentions of the author. What? Oh, in most puzzle games. Yes. yes. But in Zactronics games, you're really not. There are million... Like... There's an infinite number of solutions. Yes. yes. Well, maybe not. Not in some Zactronics games where it's like, and you only have this many spaces to put your machine With a code. normal puzzle game, there's no replay value because you're just trying, because you just know the solution. And. Yes. In a Zact- and in a Zactronics, in, an, in a Zactronics game, you can, you know, you can optimize. Yes. And in fact, they give you histograms specifically for that reason. We watched, we watched, like, we watched the, uh, Matthew Matosis's, like, videos At some on point, this. yes. Yeah. And it was interesting to look at like all of like the successes and failings of these games. Yeah, Space Camp probably would not be a better game if it tried to like have more story or like have the story woven like organically into the because it would probably just take away from the puzzles. Like y- you, but like would, you could just go for. It would be a worse game without the story as well. Probably, I guess. I guess, like, I haven't. I haven't like looked at the story of Space Chem, but it's like you have like some text, you have like some blocks of text that you can read yeah. if you want to. And yeah. I feel like this is, and I feel like this is perfect for a Zactronics game. Yeah, you don't, you really don't need anything else. Like the puzzles are more than enough to sustain your interest. But if you do want to know why you're doing the things that you are doing, like context can be good. <laughs> and also, it's optional, right? It's optional, but it helps. Like, I will definitely... I Like, if a thing... If I'm not forced to do a thing, I will like it a lot more and will probably go out of my way to interact with it more. I end up just like... I, I you are up, so contrary. Like, it's a video game. Like, if we're... Like, it is... I really feel like it is more meaningful if it is my choice to interact with the thing rather than if I can't, if I'm just forced to do it. If I'm forced to do something, I, would, I am going to, I'm just going to resent it more. Like, it's. Oh my gods, you resent things so easily. I am, I want to exercise my free will. That's why I play video games to, like, to exercise my free will. Like, if I'm not. If and I'm that's forced why to you do just something, absolutely hate. Um, if I'm forced to do Stanley something, parable because it's not about exercising your free will, and it also makes a point no, about no, 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 no. Okay, I do. 
Okay. You um, like the concept of Stanley Parable? No, I should... Think it overstated. No, I, I do like the Stanley Parable. Really? Yes, I do. I... I... <laughs> I don't like that. I don't like that it's a full game, but like the original mod for the Stanley, like even the um, even the the. Okay, I guess I just get angry at it, but I do, like, I did like the narration is like the narration of the Stanley Parable. It's cute. I do think it overstays its welcome, but it's not, like, it's not that bad, right? I do think like for the original, I think it was perfect for what it is, but. As soon as it gets bigger and it starts, like... Making more jokes. I see what you're saying. It's, like, I still think it makes its point. The jo- like the jokes do feel more like... Rather than saying anything interesting, it feels more like... Ooh, isn't it, isn't it wacky and kooky that we did this thing? And it feels more like lampshading for the, se- for the sake of, like, I don't know, protecting yourself from criticism rather than, like, doing anything really interesting that's the, that's the vibe that i get from a lot of what the stanley parable does and like in the original stanley parable it like you know it gets you thinking about games as li- like you can't like uh, of course you can't make any choice you can't make every choice in like in like a video game because there because a designer had to construct the possibility space there, right? Yes. Like, a video game is a limited... Limited resource, yes. Yes. It's until, like a limited... Until, until we make AIs that run our games for us. That's gonna be a weird... That's you know, weird that already thing. exists, by the way, that people have uh, pointed um, GPT-3 or whatever at, um, like, Dungeon Master shit, and you can actually play text-based adventures against GPT-3, sort of, against... With GPT-3 as the Dungeon Master. Eh, it has varying amounts of being able to work. But you can, in fact, it's gonna be like a it's gonna be like a weird meandering story. It has lo- It has some trouble with focus. Yes. I mean, I know. Like, okay. Anyway, stop recording. I want to go eat. Okay. Bye, Bye everyone. everyone.